Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video sponsored by Connectus. My name is Brian East, and today we will look at the in-hand IR305 cellular router. Now this Cat6 LTE device by in-hand is compact, durable, and packed with amazing features. But first, a little bit about the company. In-hand, you may have never heard of them, is the third largest router manufacturer in the world, already well established in the Asian markets. Third in the world. A little bit about the naming convention. The IR in the name stands for industrial router and the last digit of the name, in this case five, refers to the number of ethernet ports. Now the IR305 is great for complex networking scenarios, sporting virtual network VLAN, static routing, OSPF, GRE, VPN, DMVPN. The embedded modem will support 150 megs down and 50 megs up, and the dual nano SIM provides for auto switching and failover situations. It supports two operation modes, 4G router mode and wireless router mode to provide uninterrupted multiple network access capabilities. This device is built to withstand extreme conditions. It's rated for temperatures between negative 20 degrees Celsius and 158 degrees Fahrenheit. It can handle five to 95% ambient humidity and L3 electromagnetic compatibility. Simply put, this thing is rugged. As I mentioned, it comes with five ethernet ports and two 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antennas and two cellular antennas. All right, now let's jump in. Here it is. First, the device itself. You've got on the back here a SIM tray. It's going to be opened by a little SIM key that, uh, that's inside of this little small accessories kit. You've got your two Wi-Fi SMA ports as well as your cellular SMA ports. This is where all of your electrical connections go to. You've got your positive and negative voltage. You've got your two diodes, a COM port, and some relays. On the other side, you've got your five Ethernet ports, one WAN and four LANs. All of them are going to be 10-100s. You also have your little reset. The, that same key in here can be used for that. And your four LEDs. On the back here, you've got four indentions. Again, inside of the small accessories kit are some rubber feet that you'll attach to each of these if you plan on setting it on a surface. And if you decide instead to mount it, you've got your four screw holes that have the hardware and you guessed it, the small accessories kit. Also, there is a place for your ground. You'll use a small, uh, a small Phillips head screwdriver for this. You'll need a small uh, flathead screwdriver to put your electrical leads into here. In addition, we've got your four antennas. Now two of them are 4G cellular antennas and two of them are Wi-Fi. At the base, you've got them uh, denoted right here. And it's also important to note that they are Magnetic, great for uh, metal surfaces. Here's your small uh, accessories kit with all of the things I mentioned, including some brackets, an ethernet cable, and your power supply. And now to assemble it. The first thing we're going to do is to install our SIM or SIMs. Uh, I recommend that you put, if you're only going to use one SIM, put it into the primary slot, which is going to be here in the front. And then if you're going to use the back, uh, the second SIM as well, you will set that up as the secondary. Once you've got your SIMs in there, you'll just push this back in. Now after that, or possibly before that, you're going to want to determine where you're going to mount this, right? So location, location, location. You've got your four mounting screws right here that will attach the device, the mounting brackets to the device. However, if you decide to 
lay it uh, or set it directly onto say a rack or, or any sort of surface. You flip this over, we've got these four indentions right here and here are the rubber feet that came in the small accessories kit. After that, we're going to attach, attach the antennas. So you know, again, you've got the two Wi-Fi antennas and the two cellular antennas. And they're denoted at the base of the antenna themselves, which are magnetic. So they will hold on to metal surfaces. And we'll put our Wi-Fi antennas right here, standard SMA connectors. And our 4G devices here. That's yeah, been a little tough with me. There you go, and the last one. Now, remember when I said we had a couple of diode slots, uh, a COM port, and some relays? So you can always plug those in. Uh, we're also going to have the power supply right here with your positive and negatives. So you'll need a miniature electronics flathead screwdriver. You'll unscrew these, place your connectors in, then screw them in to tighten it, and you plug it in, and you're ready to go. The IR305 is designed with comprehensive security protection, including encrypted VPN transmission, firewall protections, and multi-level authorization control. The back end is secure, simple, and get this, absolutely free. This is a game changer from the usual subscription model associated with most vendors. The comprehensive security and intelligent software services, efficient and secure network of IR305 is great for commerce, energy, smart city, manufacturing, medical, and a whole lot more. And don't forget that we at Connectus will usually be able to configure this thing for you before we ship it. This means it will be a true plug and play device when you receive it. This is Brian East with another Connectus sponsored unboxing video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn by scanning the QR code in the following slide. I'll see you next time.